the Blue Hills of Bandera have this, um, I don't know, this mystique to it that it is easy to get lost in yourself out there. You can kind of get out in the country and you don't have to worry about somebody looking at you, what they're thinking or anything. It's just, it's so natural to let go and let God, if you will, just kind of overwhelm you. You know, it just, it's, it's easy to create in that environment. I think that has a lot to do with why so many men and women musicians have moved to that part of the world. Willie Nelson actually lived in Bandera for a long time and borrowed a, a large sum of grand, uh, money from my grandfather. It was kind of funny, like getting paid back from Willie was very interesting. You know, it's a neat story that they had to tell back in the day. And it's, there's, again, there's just so much history there. I think a lot of guys that are in certain phases of their, stage phases, stages of their career will come in and uh, soak up what is there to musically that Bandera gives you. It's, there's what, I think, 13 bars and 11 churches or something. So, yeah, you come on vacation, leave on probation is the favorite quote of Bandera. It's pretty funny. I don't mean that. I love you, Bandera. Y'all are great people. I'm, seriously, we've been there so long, it's hard. My mom owns a, a Western wear store on the corner there in town, and she's been there almost 30 years. And when my dad died, she was like, what am I going to do? I got two boys, and I've got to do something. So she opened this little store, and golly, it's gotten huge. We've, we've all done very well because of her hard work and she still every day gets up and goes to work and she won't hire help that she needs you know it's like mom retire go do something she's like why baby I want to work so I get a lot of my ethics my my band gets really tired of me they they're like dude we don't have to be at every gig four hours early this is getting absolutely ridiculous but whatever